Landforms for kids. When you hear the word landform, what do you picture? Maybe you see a tall mountain or a hill, or maybe a plain or a plateau. Maybe you pictured something super unique, like an alluvial fan, which is a fan-shaped type of clay sediment that forms as the flow of a river slows down. Landforms can take millions of years to form. Today, we are going to talk about the four main kinds of landforms and how they're made. Landforms are specific features on the surface of the Earth. They're made up of all kinds of materials, including the Earth's crust, the rocky covering that covers the planet. Things like dirt, fossils, sediments, and melted rocks erupted from volcanoes. Now that we know what kinds of materials create landforms, let's talk about the different types of landforms. There are four major types of landforms. Mountains, hills, plateaus, and plains. Mountains. Mountains are the highest landforms on Earth. Each mountain has a tip at the very top that is called the peak. The tallest mountains are formed by plate tectonics, when pieces of the Earth's crust smash up against each other and cause the Earth to rise. They can also be formed when molten rock erupts through the Earth. The Himalayas are a product of plate tectonics and are the tallest mountain range in the world. The highest peak of this mountain range is at the top of Mount Everest. Its elevation, or height, is 29,032 feet. That's as tall as 48,000 people standing on top of each other's shoulders. Can you imagine hiking all the way to the top? Up next, hills. Hills are similar to mountains because they're a landform that is higher than their surroundings. Unlike mountains, however, they're smaller, less steep, and not as tall. Hills are formed all the time in various ways. One of these is called faulting, which happens because rocks underneath the surface of the earth are always moving and changing the landscape. Sometimes, faulting can turn hills into mountains. Remember when we talked about Mount Everest and the Himalayas? Those huge mountains used to be tiny hills, which have grown huge because of faulting. Isn't that amazing? Erosion is another way that hills can be formed. When rocks, dirt, and sediment are washed away from one area and then pile up somewhere else. When water and wind wear down a mountain, that mountain can become a hill, which means that erosion can also wear down a hill over a period of time. Our next landform, plateaus. Plateaus are flat, elevated landforms located at the tops of mountains or hills. They're situated higher than the land around them on at least one side. Plateaus have steep sides and big cliffs and they can often be found between mountain ranges. There are two different kinds of plateaus, dissected plateaus and volcanic plateaus. Dissected plateaus are created when the Earth's crust moves upward when tectonic plates shift, which means that these landforms can continue to grow. For example, the Colorado Plateau in the western United States has been rising about 0.01 inches every year for more than 10 million years. On the other hand, volcanic plateaus are formed by many small volcanic eruptions that slowly build up over time. An example of this type of plateau covers most of the central part of the North Island of New Zealand. Plateaus can also be affected by erosion, which can contribute to the shape and structure of a plateau. When the soft rock on the top of the landform erodes away, a hard, durable surface called cap rock is left behind. Cap rock protects the plateau from erosion of the soil underneath it. Ready for our last landform? Plains. 
Plains are the flat areas on the planet's surface. They cover over one third of the Earth's entire land area, which means there are many different types formed in various ways. Some plains form when ice and water wear away the dirt and rock on higher land. Bits of dirt, rock, and sediment find their way down, and when these layers build up, plains are formed. Others are the product of volcanic activity. Lava plains form when lava pushes up from below the ground and flows across the land. One of the most famous examples of this type of landform is the Great Plains, located in the United States. It's a huge, flat area that stretches across Kansas, Nebraska, North Dakota, South Dakota, and parts of six other states. Wow, that's a whole lot of planes. Now that your brains are packed with all sorts of new facts, let's test your knowledge. True or false? Landforms can be formed by tectonic plate movement. True! Mountains, hills, and plateaus can all be formed by plate tectonics. Fill in the blank. There are blank major types of landforms. Did you say four? Great job! Which mountain is the tallest in the world? Did you remember that it was Mount Everest? Name two different kinds of landforms. Mountain, hills, plateau, plains. True or false? Landforms are made up of only one kind of material. False. Landforms can be made up of many different kinds of things, like the Earth's crust, dirt, fossils, sediment, and material erupted from volcanoes. Nice job, everyone! Now that you know all about landforms, it's time to take that knowledge out into the world. Next time you're in a beautiful place, try to spot which landforms are all around you and try to imagine how they all began. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.